I think of uh, Brahms IV as one of the great privileges of my flute playing life or of my life as a, as a musician. Uh, your heart always leaps when you see it on the schedule. Um, some of the other solos you might think it's a bit of a double-edged thing that um, you know, you're pleased they've come up but then there's a, a rod to your back. For instance, I'm, I've just been asked to play um, Carnival of the Animals and you know, it's a, it's a bit of a double-edged thing but for Brahms, kind of for slightly dark all place joy. becomes very, very um, important. The first thing I'd like to say about Brahms uh, for um, is that something that's not much talked about is that basically, um, to my mind at any rate, this solo is a saraband. Um, so saraband's obviously in three time but a feeling, you know, that there's an archaic dance. So I think often pe people actually think a little bit too much, just as a general kind of musical thing, about what they actually see, the particulars on the page, which of course you need to represent, and of course they're important. How do you um, best present a Pagaturis? I mean, I think this is a key thing for flute players. Um, I think the instincts amongst flute players is always to do what I feel to be the reverse of what's actually beneficial for deeper now, meaning. Now, structuring things. these, um, for the piece, how do we structure these uh, apostrophes? So there's two levels, really. As I'm saying, the main one's on the second beats. The other ones are subsidiary, but must still be there, or at least an awareness. One thing I'd say that can really help people make this solo special um, is almost having the mentality of being a time master. Um, and I love this idea as on a musician. Subject, um, one thing I find, I discovered that students often find difficult um, about this solo is the lifts at the ends of the phrase. Um, you know, for us, of course, with La Primitie and Daphnis, it doesn't come bigger than this and it's just, you know, it's just a treat.